Hey there guys, welcome back to another video of all things Apple Plus. Wow, we have a, a bit of a long video for you guys today. I hope you guys stay until the very end. This is gonna be a very informative video. This is actually inspired by John's previous video, not his one about the Game Boy uh, Color, but his uh, tutorial on how to download and install revoked application. So if you get a notification like this, where you're unable to verify the application or your system is unable to verify the application, then there is a workaround for that. If you're on the latest iOS 13.2.3 and with something that he said in his previous video was that if, since this method is out, that you would be able to do this, uh, this revoke installation method with all the other third-party enterprise sites. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that to test and we're gonna see here which is the best site to be able to download revoked applications onto your iDevice for free. No jailbreak, no check rating needed. This is just right off the bat, just I'm going to do some testing here. This isn't a jab at John or Tweakbox or, you know, uh, App Valley or any of these different sites, all these sites I've already, you know, expressed how much they, you know, how much they mean to me or how much they're, they're great to the community on my channel. So this is just for an information purposes. I want to definitely check out which is the best site to download your third party applications for, you know, for free that are revoked. So we're going to go ahead and first and foremost, we're going to be doing a lot, a lot of deleting web browsing history. So I'm going to first and foremost, make sure that I have every single one of these favorited bookmarked. That way I can go ahead and navigate to them pretty easily. Now, if you would excuse my voice, I am a little bit under the weather right now. So I'm really trying to push through this whole flu season. This 2019 has just sucked. And it, from what it looks like from everybody else out in the world, it's just been really crap year. Um, but leave a like if you had a great 2019. Now on this video, or okay, so once, now that we have all four uh, sites favorited or bookmarked, we're going to go ahead and set up our computer or set up my, uh, my iPad Pro. Now this is an iPad Pro running iOS 13.2.3. And we're going to be downloading Delta. This is going to be our first, this is not going to be our, between Delta and GBA for iOS, I know Tweakbox doesn't have uh, Delta, but between the two, we are going to be downloading uh, Delta in the majority of the time for these four different sites. So between App Valley, Tweakbox, Ignition, and Operation iDroid's uh, site, we're going to be downloading GBA for iOS. Now, again, I'm on the iPad Pro running on iOS 13.2.3. We're going to be doing his method, the method that he was able to find through Sanders Tech. So I'll have links for everything in the description down below. So make sure that you guys do check them out. Also, do check out App Valley Tweakbox, Ignition, Operation iDroid site. And it's just, uh, just they do so much for the community. So first and foremost, we're installing the application, getting back into it. We're going to go and pause the application. We're going to jam over into settings, navigate over into Safari, scroll all the way down until you see clear history and website data. We're going to clear that. Cool. We're going to back out. We're going to go ahead and launch the application as it would or resume the application as it's downloading. And then from there, we're going to wait until it hits installing. Once it hits installing, then we're going to pull down that bar, hit on airplane mode. Awesome. The application loads perfectly. Awesome. This is great. So from here, we can go ahead and relaunch and open up uh, cellular and Wi-Fi data. So from here, let's go ahead and scroll it up to general. From general, we're gonna go into profiles and device management. We're gonna look under enterprise applications to find GBA for our, or excuse me, Delta. We're gonna go ahead and trust. After we trust the application, I'm not gonna hit the verify app. We're gonna go ahead and just pause on that. I'm going to go ahead and show you that if we are unable to verify the application, that is fine. Cool. That's the pop-up that we are looking for. The next step, we do need to open up five different web browsing pages. I know this is crazy. This sounds, and even when I first saw the tutorial on it, I was just like, this is, this is insane. There's no way this is going to work out, but it works. It really does work. So after opening up our five different website pages, I'm actually going to go ahead and close them. So go ahead and long press on the multitasking page there and then it will bring up the closing up five or you can close up your five uh, web pages go ahead and scroll into uh 
settings, go into Safari, go and navigate to clear history and website data, clear all that website and history data. Then we can go back into the application. And as you can see here, we are still unable to verify the application. So we're gonna turn on airplane mode and then we're actually still unable to verify the application. So it looks like I may have Looks like I should have not actually tried jumping into the app when there was LTE or when there was Wi-Fi. You will get that bug and un unable to verify app, you know, notifications. So make sure that when you do this five page, um, when you're opening up five tabs or five pages, make sure that you jump back into the application when you're under airplane mode. Once you do that, then the app should go ahead and load correctly and accordingly. So we're gonna close out the applications, or close out the, uh, the sites actually. Then we're gonna go back into Safari. We're gonna go ahead and clear the history and website data one last time. We're gonna close out that, bring in airplane mode. And as you can see here, we're gonna jump back into the application. Application runs perfectly. Awesome, great. This is what we need, this is what we've been looking for. This is what each site needs to bring us we need to be able to jump into the application. We need to not only download the application, but we also need to make sure that we can even run the application too. So the next application, the, the next third party enterprise site that we're gonna jump into is we're gonna go into App Valley. Now App Valley is a little bit trickier because now you're not downloading off of a website, you're downloading based off of an actual third party enterprise app. So you are downloading from the internet or from, from from another site, but it's you're not going straight from the Safari. So I'm curious to know what it's gonna look or what the differences are gonna be with that. So we're gonna go ahead and install App Valley. And actually, you know what? I already do have an App Valley previously installed on my iDevice. So what I'm actually gonna do here is I'm gonna clear out both of the App Valleys that I was just trying to install. So as you can see here, no, nope, that's not that one. There's Tweakbox. Actually, let me go ahead and remove Tweakbox real fast for the sake of this video. We're also gonna remove App Valley. Cool. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and install the new App Valley that is within our system here that I've been trying to download. So we're actually gonna clear history and website data one last time. There we go. Back to profiles and device management. Here's that valley. Let's go ahead and hit install and we're gonna go ahead and type in our passcode here. Then we're gonna go ahead and hit the next button. Go ahead and hit install. And then go ahead and hit done from there. Now we have app valley here from app valley. They're, again, they're not from Safari. It's, you're not downloading anything from Safari. You're downloading from their application. So here's the Delta emulator and it is unavailable. So we can't even download the actual application. So unfortunately, App Valley doesn't provide us with a way of downloading revoked applications. So maybe this is something that they'll change in the future. Maybe this is something that they'll implement, but I can't even download any third party application, which is a little bit, uh, it's a little bit frustrating because they are a very huge they have a very huge following and this would be a very big thing for them to do is to be able to allow their application to or yeah their their standalone profile app to be able to download third party you know enterprise applications from their app so unfortunately that's just kind of a bummer that you're not able to download those applications from there but there is and I don't recommend doing this but there is a th another third party, or there's another quote unquote app valley, a fake app valley. I'm just kind of curious to see what the differences are gonna be between the two. And if there is even, any, even if there is a, a way that you can download third party apps from the from the other app valley. There was, unfortunately there was a split between developers in app valley and there was one app valley that was unable to, um, you know, there was, you know, one app value that needed to separate it from itself. So we're going to try installing that one. I know this is just for, for fun and for kicks, but I, I am curious to see if there is a way to even install third party apps from a secondary or even yeah from a secondary app value. So yeah, this looks like trash. 
uh, there's not even and there's not even so many applications on here. It just looks like complete trash. Uh, yeah, this is something I you know what I wouldn't even I don't even know if they're even taking my data or even going into my own like <laughs> they're probably inter you know taking some of my data or my information. So I wouldn't recommend going into them. Kind of just a waste of time. Ad Valley unfortunately just isn't unable to download third-party applications at this time or third-party revoked applications at this time so what we're going to do then is we're going to move on from app valley and then we're going to navigate over and actually delete kind of just remove their profiles from the meantime and we're going to navigate into tweetbox so let's go ahead and set up our device for that so we're going to go into general let's or actually let's go into let's go into safari and let's go ahead and clear the history and website data let's get tweakbox loaded up that way we can check to see if we can even download uh, any third-party applications from their site now i know that they don't have delta on their site they do have gba for ios so we're going to be trying that one out now third now tweakbox has been around for a long 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 time so we're really going to try to see if they can hold up and if they can allow us to download and be able to even install revoked applications, let alone even just play them. Uh, they have been down for a bit. They've been kind of away since this whole movie box or this whole uh, Kodo movie situation. So let's, I haven't used them in quite a while. So let's go ahead and install their profile and let's go ahead and check them out. It's actually been a minute since I've actually used uh, Tweakbox in a minute. So I'm kind of curious to see what they what they have installed or what they have in store for us. So let's go ahead and we're going to navigate over to Tweakbox applications here. From Tweakbox apps, let's go ahead and find, let's see here. There it is, GBA for iOS. All right, from there, let's go ahead and hit the install button. We'll install one more time and we're unable to install. Okay, so hit okay. Let's back out of that. Go ahead and hit install one more time. Install, let's try to and we can't even do that. Okay, so let's try a different application then. Maybe it's just that app. Let's try the uh, the Gear Boy app. And we can't even install that. We can't even flip up the page just to be able to pause the actual application from downloading. So, and it, yeah, there's just, okay. Now we have two random Tweakbox applications. So we're gonna clear these out first and foremost. So that's, uh, that's a little unfortunate to see that Tweakbox is uh, unable to allow us to download these applications or at least be able to even get the application to even start downloading. Let's try, yeah, Happy Chick might be even better. Nope, can't even do that. Wow, okay. So uh, we're kind of stuck with with uh, Tweakbox at this point. It's uh, it's not looking good for Tweakbox. You're not even able to download, nor are you even able to get the app to install on while using Tweakbox. So that is a no on Tweakbox. So so far, Operation iDroid is the only only application, only site that will allow you to download revoked applications. So let's go ahead and actually remove uh, the Tweakbox profile from our device because we're not going to be downloading from them. Uh, for just a moment, I, it's unfortunate, but we're not able to install anything at this time. So the last site that we have that I wanted to try out, one of the major big hitters was ignition.fun. Now again, links will be in the description for every application, every, you know, from Sanders Tech to Operation iDroids for their, you know, for their credit, I'm gonna leave them in the links in the description down below too. So with Ignition, now that we have the application set up here, we can go ahead and choose Delta. They do have the actual Delta app. Let's close that out. And we have the get button. So it's not revoked. It is, revo it is revoked, but we can at least download the application here. So that's cool. So let's go ahead and install the application. As you can see here, it's loading pretty fast too. So let's go ahead and pause it. Then let's go ahead and navigate over to settings. From settings, we'll scroll all the way down to Safari. From Safari, let's go ahead and clear the history and website data. Cool deal. All right, let's go ahead and back out. From there, we're gonna go ahead and launch the app and we'll wait for it to install. And then we're gonna put it into airplane mode, so we're gonna have to catch it at that time. 
So it was loading pretty fast. There it goes. All right, cool. Airplane mode, awesome. Apps installed, perfect, that's what we, so ignition confirmed, you can download the applications from, or third party uh, revoked applications on your site or on your iDevice, so that's cool. We can go ahead and proceed with trying to get the app and getting the app to even open up itself too. So let's go ahead and trust the application. Cool. We won't hit the verify app. We're going to go back into Safari. We're going to open up five pages. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Cool deal. So we got our five pages. We're going to let them marinate for a little bit. Just kind of let them sit. Just, you know, let the apps, you know, just let the web pages load. It's going to close out all five tabs. Great. Now that we've done that, let's navigate back into settings. From settings, we'll go to Safari. Safari will scroll down to website and history data. Clear that out. From there, we're going to go back to the application. We're going to pull down the drop bar, hit in airplane mode. Not make the same mistake that I made the first time with Operation iDroids. And we get the untrusted enterprise developer notification. Okay, so from here, let's see here. Let's go back to general. We've already trusted this, which is kind of weird. So actually, let's go ahead and turn on, um, let's go ahead and turn on our cellular Wi-Fi. Uh, we're a little bit stuck here because all we have is to verify the application. So let's hit verify. Maybe that might take. Go back to airplane mode. Nothing. Gosh. Okay. That I might need to do some tweaking around and figure out how to get that to load. But it looks like it's not going to. Let's even try opening up five web pages too. There's four, five, and let them sit for a moment. Close them out. And then we're going to kick back, go into settings, Safari, clear history and website data. Cool. Let's go ahead and back out and then throw in airplane mode as you would normally. Launch the app and still you get the untrusted enterprise developer notification. So it looks like for right now, it looks like the main, it looks like for the main hitter is going to be Operation iDroid's site. That is the best way in getting those emulators on your iDevices for free, even though that they are revoked at the moment. So I don't know how he's got his site set up versus these other third party sites. It's completely beyond me, but he's doing something right on his end. So make sure that you guys go ahead and subscribe, like, follow him. If you guys did like this video, if you guys like this little test that we've done here, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe onto my channel. Let me know what works best for you when you're downloading your third party applications and I'll be catching you guys on the next one. Peace.